for what will be the first overtime affair for either side this year. And our first OT in the Sweet 16 since Tennessee beat Gonzaga six years ago. Baylor opting to go for the hotter hand in the second half. Moon Urson trying to win it later. Jumper came up short. And so we're going to play five more, Debbie. Yeah, I, I like putting pressure at the rim and pressure on the officials. Not settling for a jump shot, but seeing if you could get something inside. Let's see if Michigan can carry that momentum here in the next five. Remember, Nas Hillman has four personal fouls. Melissa Smith leading the way with 20 for Baylor, 21 for Leah Brown and Michigan. Winner gets UConn in the Elite Eight Monday night. Gino Ariamba is like, play another five. Play, play five more after that. <laughs> Carrington fouled on the drive. Huskies beat Iowa earlier today, 92 to 72. Kristen Williams with 27. Ravina Westbrook and Paige Beckers both almost had triple doubles. And it was good to have Gino back in the bubble after he uh, was unable to coach the first couple of rounds due to the COVID. That is the fourth foul on Brown now for Michigan. The other Brown, Haley. One of two for Dijonet. No transition opportunities for either team. You have to take care of the basketball right here. You've got to execute offensively. Stillman, quiet second half as others have stepped up for the Wolverines. And Michigan has its first lead of the day. Michigan's ability to make perimeter shots is going to make it easier here in the final five for Nas Hillman to get touches on the block. They've made their last six shots. Urson with a nice find to Egbo inside. Taylor seems to have backed off their pressure just a little bit. Trying to feed it inside, Hillman had it stripped out. Nine on the shot clock for Michigan. I am so impressed with Nas Hillman and her work ethic and her demeanor. Nothing bothers her. She keeps shaping up to the ball. 70% from the floor for Nas. Brown, three is good. Seven shots in a row for the maize and blue. Trying to get to the Elite Eight for the first time in school history. Against, oh, she double dribbled. Against the best field goal percentage defense in the country. Melissa Smith stays perfect a 10 for 10 day. Gilman, foul. Foul on Egbo, Hillman to the line. Great work by Hillman to get to the free throw line. Watch Dee Dee Richards right here. That is double dribble. Wow. Great there for Baylor. Two point Michigan lead. Look at Smith sitting the post. Dee Dee Richards is catching it in the logo area. You gotta shoot that. Passed up a good look. Good double. Carrington, three. Got it! Baylor back on top. See, Baylor gets their mojo from their D. And Michigan gets it from their O. 
That was Carrington's first triple after four misses. She's got 17. Leah Brown, nice hesitation, missed the layup. Boy, good play to clear it out for Brown to go one-on-one. -on -one. She's been fantastic off the bounce in the second half. Kim Mulkey directing traffic now, knows exactly who they want to get the ball to from that Baylor sideline. Smith, oh, the defender, Roush, left her, oh. and Smith hits. Roush leaves the ball. You never leave the ball. Ties a tournament record going 11 for 11. 24 points. Roush trying to get it back. Danielle Roush played like 16 minutes the eight games prior to the postseason. Total. She has been terrific in her role. She's taking care of the ball. She's hit some open shots and on a skip pass. That's exactly what you're supposed to do. Attack the closeout. When her coaches asked her if she was up for it, she told them, I will be ready. Celebrating a birthday yesterday. And she's tied it up with under two minutes to go. <laughs> Richards and Baylor turns it over. And Alyssa Smith is like, get me the ball. Get me the ball. And see, that's when you don't have a natural point guard, right? In that situation, Dee Dee Richards has got to shoot that ball and be more of a threat. At the end of regulation, Baylor's defense forced two big turnovers. Trying to get another one here, and they do. Carrington picks it off, and she will take it the distance. Timeout, Baylor. Time and time again, the defense delivers. Dijanae yeah. Carrington anticipates. Four angle inside. Easy play for Carrington. Big bucket for Baylor. Oh, excited here in San Antonio, Maria. 75-73, the two-seed Baylor over Michigan. 110 to go. Beth Mowens, Debbie Antonelli, LaChina Robinson with you. The Yukon Huskies await in the Elite Eight. As Nas Hillman breaks the huddle. She and Leah Brown have been huge. They've been hitting threes in the second half. Baylor has countered with Nalissa Smith, a perfect 11 for 11 from the floor with 24 points. And a big steal and score just a second ago from Dijanae Carrington to grab the lead. We'll expect some extended Baylor pressure just to try to take some time off the shot clock. And Michigan has done an excellent job going deep into the shot clock with their sets offensively, and they've been terrific on their ATOs. Possession arrow is with Michigan. Picking up at midcourt. Side with Hillman. Egbo is doing a good job of bumping her off the low block. Machine's got to move. Johnson trying to get by Carrington. Can't knock it down. Ball is loose, and Richards comes up with it for Baylor. Okay, you got to get a stop here. You do not need to foul. Maybe a trap. Maybe something to get a steal. But you definitely have to rebound if you're Michigan. And you call timeout right away to advance the ball. Richards will take it herself. Missed it. Weak side rebound. Aikbo and a foul. Queen got on the glass to get him another possession. I almost thought this was a jump ball, Beth. Watch Queen Eggball. Leah Brown get tied up. 
Leah Brown wanted the jump ball from our angle. That's what it looked like. Egbo a 64% shooter. She's two of two today. Call timeout, you advance the ball. You have to get this rebound right here if you're Michigan. That was the fourth foul on Leah Brown. Three-point Lady Bear lead. Good job blocking out on the free throw line, though, and not letting Melissa Smith X out. So with 18, no, check that, 19 seconds to go. Do you need the three here yet? No, I, no, I don't think so. I think you go aggressively to the basket, try to score, put some pressure on that defense. You've been able to get Leah Brown into the middle third off your ball screen action, especially with her coming around to her right hand. She's been terrific. And then you got to rebound. If you don't score, you have to foul. Of course, you see there, Baylor does not have a foul to give, so they cannot try and slow Baylor down. If it starts winding down the clock and gets close to the Wolverines having to try the three yeah. late yeah, if to you're, tie it. Now, if the three is the best shot available, uh, that's, you do take that. But I think the play will be designed to get something scoring quickly inside and try to extend the game by putting Baylor to the free throw line. They have hit five triples in the second half if it does come to that. Brown goes to the left side, got it. One point game, timeout Baylor. And Kim Mulkey wants to advance. Great take, Brown off the bounce in the middle third. This is an aggressive take right here. It took four seconds to score. You got no help. Because you got a shooter on the corner and Baylor hugging up on the wing to make sure they don't get a three. If Leah Brown had gotten help, she could have kicked to the corner for a triple. 19 second half points for Leah. Baylor, pretty good free throw shooting unit as a team, over 70%. Well, now, and now for Michigan, right, Beth? You're trying to get a quick trap, a steal. If not, you have to foul right away. Dee Dee Richards, 64% from the free throw line as your point guard. Don't let Moon Urson catch it. She's the best free throw shooter for Baylor. Harrington has made four but missed three today. If you prefer to look at uh, the weak link on the season or on the afternoon. Can't get beat over the top here. Richards to inbound. Carrington's got it. Here comes the trap. Baylor moving it fast. They had a chance. Urson open for the layup and scores, but it's still a one possession game. Got to go. A three can tie at the launch, almost ripped in, and the long rebound to Carrington, and the final buzzer sounded, but the officials say... Coach got a timeout. Coach Barzarico called timeout. Carrington may have been out of bounds when she grabbed the ball in the corner. You try to trap, you lost track. Of it. Reviewing the time to put exactly where she stepped out of bounds. Carrington. It wasn't the official there that was blocked by the other foot. It was the official up the sideline who made the call. Well, and I think that a Ken Ray Johnson shot that ball from deep because she was getting ready to travel. It was going to be a turnover. It looked I mean, like they had time on the they clock, had plenty right? Plenty of time. Yep. Yes, I think she was getting ready to turn it over, but I don't know why Michigan didn't call timeout after Moon Urson scored. They didn't have any timeouts. Did they just use their last one? They had one. Yep. They got so confused that Moon Urson was so wide open. And Baylor did a great job of moving the ball, not letting Michigan catch them to foul. Three-point Baylor lead. The officials over at the scores table trying to determine if I, I'm, Beth, I'm wondering, Michigan should have the ball here with time left. Yeah, I'm wondering if Kim Barnes-Rico called the timeout when 
Kenray Johnson was dribbling the ball off the floor. That's what I'm wondering if that's when the official thought the timeout occurred. But I, well, the uh, no, the other official was pointing at her stepping out of bounds. Carrington, who has come up with huge plays defensively, including a big steal late here in the OT. Steal score. Kim Mulkey and the Lady Bears hoping that it's ball game, that there's no time left, and Carrington was in bounds. Well, if if Michigan gets, if the ball, if she stepped out of bounds on the baseline in the corner, that's a tough spot to inbound the ball. Kim Burns Rico trying to draw something up, anticipating they might have a shot at it here. The time on the clock is going to be adjusted to point nine when the official recognized that she was out of bounds. Ball game overtime wow. in the Sweet 16 for the first time in six years. Moon Erson with the 18 point second half, including a huge bucket just a second ago, and they are going to put point nine back on the clock and give Michigan the ball. Yeah, you, you can't give up a three here. A two doesn't beat you, you guard the three point line. I would not let Leah Brown catch. Or a Ken Ray Johnson, who's had a hot hand outside the arc. Richardson is on her. Coach Mulkey way out of the box. And instructing her to get back in her coach's box. Here we go. Time to catch and shoot for Michigan. Brown gets a look to tie it, and it comes up short. And the Lady Bears advance in OT, 78 to 75. Leah Brown catch, gets a great look, just short, looked like it was online. And Baylor survives and advances. Mm. And an Elite Eight showdown on Monday night, Baylor and UConn.